tell you, I'm going to let you open them and tell you about it. One, two, three. Excited people down there right now. 
Yellow's too close to white. Yellow's uh, blinding. Yellow's, I don't know. Some excited folks. There you go. Wow, cool. Oh, that is cool. It's Notre Dame gold. Golden Dome. The guys didn't know anything about it. The guys didn't know? Just found out. Oh, you're kidding. That's too cool. They took them from them Thursday night. <coughs> yeah. Under the auspices that they had to do a helmet certification. Oh, sure. And they gave back to them just now in the locker room. Those are cool. Those do look cool. Oh, my gosh. I'm amazed. Those are cool. You like them? <laughs> they are cool. Yeah. Yeah, that. You have to get the special helmet. You know, you can't just paint them anymore. You got to get the special helmet. So they had to order the paint out, and the, they did it at the shop, I guess. Ordered the loot decals, the whole bit. All about done in two weeks. <laughs> Shoot, they did it in two nights. Enjoy the. Northwest Chevy Geo say, enjoy the fame and see us for all your truck needs. I think it's game. Enjoy the game. There you go. G and F are next to each other, aren't they? do too. Yeah. What's that? They put a new decal. They put a new decal week. on every week. Yeah. They have like a ten thousand dollar decal budget. There's a couple of linemen though that uh, that ref that say don't take my decal off. Put tape over it. Oh, it's my right? lucky decal. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> you know. And, the, and so they're the guys with the with a chip on their W. Up. That's what they want. Yeah. Exactly. Had everything locked up and closed <coughs> up. They were putting, actually putting the helmets back together this morning down there. That's so frosty. <coughs> yeah, that's so frosty, you know. It's like we're just going to do it, no matter how much time it takes. And yeah. Seven for Western, Chris 
Bo, Larry Labrie, Dan uh, Spreesterback, Spreesterbach, and Mike Burton, Jim Buchanan, and Charles Phipps. Thank you. Talk about that in the pregame. seconds. Washington standing in the sun. It's a it's a difference in temperature about 10 degrees I think from the sun to the shade and PLU will be in the shade all afternoon. The wind is blowing here. It was calm earlier but it's starting to pick up. It'll be chilly on the near sideline. We're just about set to get underway and Leeper will kick it into the wind. Back deep for Western Washington. Avila and Johnson. End over end kick comes down at the 10 yard line. I believe that's Avila with it straight up the middle of the field with a big crease comes across the 30 to the 35 yard line. And on the return, that was actually Michael Johnson, the other return man, six foot, 180 pound Vikings. We expect to see John Brunow, John Frazier as the backs in the formation. Keep an eye on Eric Meek. He's the favorite target through the air for the Vikings. Backs in an offset eye formation on first down. Tight end is to the strong right side and the handoff goes straight ahead to Brunow and he gets maybe a yard out to the 38 yard line. It'll be second down and nine. Boy, what a game Brunow had last week down in McMinnville against Linfield. Well, this but 16 touchdowns on the season. Comes out again with backs in an offset eye formation. Two wide receivers to the right. Long snap count. He'll hand off to the deep back. That's Brunow. He jumps over the would-be tackler at the line of scrimmage. Gets into loot territory to the 47-yard line. A gain on the play. The amount of carries is Brunow throughout the season, but last week, 31 carries for Brunow to just six carries for John Frazier. Motion this time through the formation. Right to left goes Palmore. The handoff, though, will go to Brunow deep in the backfield, and he is hit at the line of scrimmage, but then spins his way down to the 45-yard line. Picks up two on first down. I know one Von Flew. John Roberts checking in. Trips come to the right this time for Western Washington. Single setback is Brunow behind Styles. One wide receiver to the left. So a four wide receiver set. Wide receiver nearest to Styles on the right side is the dangerous Mr. Meek. The handoff goes to Brunow though on the draw play. He's over the 45, inside the 45 to the 43 yard line. Two tough yards right up the middle. Lee with Craig McCord, of course, helping him out up in the box. Single back set, double tight ends, two wide receivers in the formation behind Styles on third down and five. Looks like a pass situation. The Lutes come with four. Five-step drop, looking on the out pattern, and it looks to be complete at the 35-yard line. It is, and it's good for the first down. Making their own 37-yard line, they are now down to the loot 35, first and 10. Opening drive of the ball game, no score, 11.30 to play in the first quarter. Back stacked in an eye formation, two wide receivers in the set. The linebackers look to be coming for the loots. They are. The pitch goes to Brunel. Try the right side. Forget about it. 
near quickly for the Lutes. John Ruby able to wrap him up. Albert Jackson also there for De Bruno. Now Styles might be changing the play. He's barking out to his wide receivers. Two of them wide to the left. One of them Palmore. Tight end is to the right. Backs in an eye. They'll play action fake to Bruno, and they're looking for the home run ball over the middle. McElrath in coverage. It's caught at the goal line and into the end zone. Touchdown for Western Washington. It was actually Mark Gibbons in the coverage, making the touchdown catch. Chris Nichols, 6'3", 185-pound junior from Mercer. Fourth touchdown grab of the year for Nickel. Wade Gabers on to try the point after. Out of the hold of Darren Erath. Good snap, good spot. The kick is up. It looks good, and it is good. An impressive opening first quarter. Our score, Western Washington 7. A post route and had him about for about a stride, but Gibbons was with him the whole way and really judged that ball coming in quite nicely and I thought he had his hand across the front of Nichols but just didn't quite get a hold of it at the last moment. Wade Gabers with the ball teed up at the 35-yard line. Back deep for the Lutes. I see Josh Requay back there and also Pete Vince doing to the wide side. A kick from Gabers is away. End over end kick to the icy side of the field. Smart move by Gabers and Requay skating, slipping around, goes out untouched at his own 22 yard line. Heads up job by Gabers in the special teams play of Western Washington to kick it to the ice. Good offense in the ball game. Again, the Lutes in their white pants, black jerseys, and the new gold helmets. On the first down play, Carl Hoseth will call the signals from the shotgun. Two wide receivers to the left, one to the right is Finn Stewart, tied in is Carl Larum in this formation. Drops back to pass, complete. It's to Larum over the middle. He's at the 25, 27, hits the ice, and down he goes. The footing comes right out from under him at the 27-yard line. Joseph comes up to the line of scrimmage. Larum will line up in the ice here to the left side. Two wide receivers to the right. Joseph will come in over the center this time. Aaron Tang in the backfield. It's really three wide receivers to the right. And Larum to the left. They'll set up a backward pass screen to Finstuen. Completed the 25. Evades a tackler there over the 30, 35, up to the 38 yard line. A lot of white jerseys there. But really, uh, Finstuen stands in the last four ball games for the Lutes. Trips come to the left this time. One wide receiver to the right. Hoseth in over center. Four man front for the Vikings. Long snap count, the play clock under five. Now he gets it away, and a hand up on a, just a trap play to Aaron Tang. He's up to the 40, maybe the 41-yard line. Aaron Looked like a pretty good hole initially, but the great linebackers for Western Washington marches 67 yards for their opening drive and a touchdown. They lead it seven to nothing. Hoseth will go from the shotgun. Two wide receivers to the right, one to the left. Cale Pylan is the wide receiver on the icy side left. Two backs in the set. They fake the draw play, complete the screen pass to Tang at the 40. He eludes a defender, shakes one off, and now he's into Viking territory to the 43-yard line. Aaron Tang showing right there, Craig, why he was the CFA Mount Rainier League Offensive Player of the Year. Well, Aaron Tang does a good Viking territory, so the Lutes moving the football pretty well here on their opening drive. Have it at the Viking 43-yard line, first and 10. Two wide receivers to the left, two backs in the set. We are yet to see the Georgetown formation from PLU. On the first down play, they'll go with a straight dive play. It's Aaron Tang. It works his way to the 40-yard line. Gain of three yards on first down. It'll be 122 total yards, 22 on the ground, 94 through the air. And the Lutes already moving the football pretty well here on their opening drive. They're at the Viking 40, second down and seven. Screen pass to Larum. Standing back at his 42, gets inside the 40 now, down to the 38-yard line before he has the legs taken out from under him. Gain of three more yards. He did pick up a couple. It'll be third down. We'll call it four yards to go from the Viking 37. The Lutes trying to keep this drive alive. Hoseth will go from the shotgun. One wide receiver to the left is Larum in motion through the formation. Comes Gavin Stanley, the possession receiver. Hoseth scrambling around, buying some time, has running room to the right. He's inside the 30-yard line of the Vikings. First down, PLU. Carl Hoseth did an outstanding job that time of just showing his... The ball right on the 30 on the right hash mark. Wide receiver to the right is Carl Larum and trip in the backfield. Uh, T formation, three backs behind Oseth, and they'll come with a sweep to Finn Stewart left. He just gets back to the line of scrimmage as he hits the ice here. Now from the 30-yard line, the ball very near the left hash mark. Here's the Georgetown formation again. Wide receiver wide is Larum. The wing back is Finstu, and he does not go in motion. Some confusion after the snap, and Hoseth has to just keep it. He dives straight ahead to the 28-yard line. 
Kites and Finstool will be the wide receivers wide to the right side. The tight end to the right is Gavin Stanley. He'll line in a wing spot formation now. The lone blocking back is Aaron Tang. Stanley comes in motion to the left now. Three step drop from the shotgun. Hoseth trying to complete a screen pass. He has it complete to Aaron Tang, but a lot of white jerseys there. He eludes all three inside the 25 down to the 24 yard line. And again, Aaron Tang slippery on that far side, able to pick up five yards when nothing was there, but it'll be short here. They'll go for it on fourth down. Fourth and five from the Viking 25. Opening drive for the Lutes, trying to equalize this ball game. Trailing Western 7 to nothing with 4.35 to play. Georgetown formation. Finn's doing in motion. Hoseth with a short drop. Complete to Gavin Stanley. Right at the first down marker. The ball may have come loose, waiting for a single on the tackle. The headlinesman on the far side is standing right on the 20-yard line, which is exactly where Stanley needed to get for the first down. The nose of the football is just inside the 20, and if that's a 10-yard chain on the far side, Craig, it's a first down for the Lutes. It looks like it from here. We don't, we're not exactly at the best angle, but the ball is across long situations. Stanley had seven catches in the first meeting between the Lutes and the Vikings, good for 64 yards. Gets the big first down catch. Georgetown offense. They'll hand off to the dive back straight ahead. I believe Requay on the carry inside the 20 down to the 17 and a flag down on the play as well. Looked like Western Washington might have come. Georgetown formation. Finn's doing the wing on the right side. Laram the receiver to the right. Aaron Tang goes in motion right now. Back to pass, Hoseth. Looking over the middle, has all kinds of time, and now a defender is there to close. Right there, LaMarco Mitchell from the defensive tackle spot. 6'2", 235 senior. They lead the CFA with a plus 24 in the takeaway ratio. And the Lutes are in a passing situation here. Second down and 12 from the 22. Trips to the left, one to the right. They'll go with a screen pass to the right. It's complete to Finn's to it. He's inside the 10 on the icy side of the field. He's inside the five, down to the three yard line. Terrific play as he eluded the first tackler just as he caught the football. Well, you call that one, Eric. He got by that first tackle. Extremely aggressive Western defense. First down, goal to go, Georgetown formation. Wide receiver to the right side is Laram. Vince doing the back on the right, and it's a pitch sweep right. Aaron Tank trying to turn the corner, does, but only gets down to the two yard line. Boy, a tough yard there for Aaron Tang trying to go play here in this first quarter. Boy, both teams chewing up a lot of clock in their opening drive. Again, the Georgetown set. Two backs in the formation and come up to the line of scrimmage after the timeout. Of course, Scott Westering, the offensive coordinator, sending the plays down to the headband, Frosty, on the near sideline. They come out in the Georgetown formation. Finstuen comes in motion. He'll get the hand up on the sweep right. Requay out in front of him. He's into the end zone. Touchdown, PLU. Two yards, sweep to the right. Finstuen from that wingback spot in the Georgetown offense finds the end zone. Good blocking out in front by Requay and the offensive line on the right side, PLU side. Trevor White on to try the PAT out of the hold of Josh Johnston. Good snap, good spot. The kick is up. It looks good, and it is good. 2.01 to play here in football. How about the time that these two teams have eaten up? The first drive for the Vikings eats up four minutes and 21 seconds. Now the Lutes with about an eight-minute drive, eight minutes plus before they get in the end zone. Each team's had the ball once, and each team's put seven on the board. That, uh, to me, is probably the most impressive part of that POU drive. Eight and a half minutes, about eight minutes and 34 seconds off the clock, and they drive almost, what, 70 yards, uh, 75 yards, and get a touchdown. The kick is a Away from Leeper, it's dropped by Avalon to 15 and rolls forward to the 18-yard line, and all the players come skating and sliding in. Boy, it looked like a summertime slip and slide over here on the near sideline. The wide receivers, they're lined up on the icy side. I don't know how they're gonna get going over here on the near side. One setback is Bruno, and you expect he'll get the football. Meek now gingerly through the ice, goes in motion to the left, comes back right, and on a sprint draw play, it'll hand up to Bruno, and he'll lose four yards. All the way back to the 14-yard line. The defense for the Lutes not fooled at all, and they came with everybody keyed on yard drive in that eight and a half minutes to tie this ball game up. Second down, and we'll call it 14 yards to go from the 15-yard line. Backs in a stacked eye this time. Two wide receivers in the set. Long snap.